So we have the Mac OS Monterey version now. I'm running it on my M1 Mac as usual. And uh, this is not a big upgrade for the Mac OS. There's a lot of small features here and there. And uh, some of them are very useful. Some of them I personally find not so relevant. So I thought I'll just list down the four features that I find the most useful in Mac OS Monterey. So let's go. So first up, Windows management. Now, suppose I'm working in Visual Studio Code right here and I have a, a browser open here and so on. If I want to tile the windows now, if I go to the green button here and I hover on it, if I give it the focus first, if I hover on it, then I get this tile the window to the left, tile the window to the right of the screen. I go left and then it shows me all the apps which are open on my desktop and I can just pick any one of them and I can tile it to the right side. So, you know, that, that's handy than it was before. You could always do this, but this is more convenient. Also, once it is like this, if I give this window the focus, and if I now hover on the green again, sorry, if I now hover on the green again, I can replace this tiled window with something else. So now I can put, uh, you know, Spotify on it. And so it's easier to switch windows. I can also do the same thing on the left-hand side. Again, I hover on this for a few seconds, replace the tiled window, and now I can pick this, and now I have a different uh, pattern. So the, the, the multi-window full-screen apps things was always there in the previous versions, but they've made it easier to find, easier to discover, and I think in my opinion, slightly easier to use. There is a gotcha here, which I should tell you, by the way. It only works with apps which are not minimized, right? So if I now go this way, and I say, make the window full screen, if it's a full screen app or if it's a minimized app, I go to the desktop and I minimize code. So I've minimized code and I have maximized or made full screen the Spotify app. Now if I go here and I say tile to the left, uh, it says no available windows, even though I had those two apps open. So it only shows here those apps which are not full screen and which are not minimized to the taskbar. So that's a little bit limiting. I would have preferred to have all of my open windows uh, displayed here because you know Spotify is open, as you can see from the dot here. And uh, I would have loved to see the full screen apps as well as the minimized apps as well. But still, it is useful and I do tend to use it. Second, toolbar in full screen apps. So usually when you go full screen on any app, uh, the toolbar doesn't show, right? It, it, it auto hides and the only way to show it is to move your cursor up to the top of the screen. And there was no way to sort of change this behavior until now. Now, if you go to the settings, there is a little preference within the Docker menu bar and you can say automatically hide and show the menu bar in full screen. This wasn't there previously. It's toggled on by default. I can toggle this off. And if I do that, and if I go back to a window, it's already full screen, but if I now minimize it and go full screen again because of that setting, you see that the toolbar uh, is always there. Now, again, if you go full screen, generally speaking, you don't want the toolbar because it's a little distraction, but sometimes you do want it, right? So you want to keep an eye on the time or you have some utilities up here which you want to keep on even if you are in full screen. Now it's possible. Number three, navigation in Finder. So suppose you are in your Finder and you're deep in the folder tree, you know, so you've got your five levels deep. And of course, you're getting the full path of the over here if you've turned that setting on. And suppose you're in a different uh, view, not in this view, but in the uh, details view. And if you wanna jump back three steps to some other folder, previously you had to do some, you know, option key or, or right click or something, but now it is very simple. You just click on any folder and you simply go there. I, I just absolutely love it. It's a small, you know, quality of life kind of a thing, but it, it just was so annoying that you could see the path here and you couldn't go there. And, and now you just can with a single click. Also, if you don't have that uh, path bar turned on, so you can actually hide the path bar, it's no longer visible. But if I do the same thing again, so if I go to my coding folder and I go to, uh, I don't know, uh, React and uh, test one and keep going down the folder chain. Now the path is no longer visible because I've turned that path on. But if I hold down the uh, option key, it magically appears. If I you know take my finger off, the option key goes away and it appears and it still works the same way. You can still tap anything on it and you go straight to that folder. Absolute bliss, I just absolutely love it. The path is always available even if it's hidden and uh, it's just a small quality of life change and it's a big improvement for my workflow. Finally, number four, low power mode. So this is completely new. If I go to system preferences, I go to battery um, and if I go to the battery icon, you, know, you notice here that you now have a low power mode, which actually I have turned on. 
and your Mac will reduce energy usage to increase battery life. So this is handy, especially if you're on battery and if you're not doing anything very intensive, you don't need to be running, you know, breakneck all the time. You can just turn this on and uh, this will save some batteries. Now I haven't done a full test, but I have seen reviews and I've seen some uh, demos which indicate that it does actually reduce your, uh, mem uh, your battery usage quite a bit. And so it's a useful little setting to have. I actually am leaving it on for now and I will sort of assess how well this works and perhaps even report back. Uh, also, you can do this in the power adapter as well, right? So you can even go to low power mode. Your Mac will manage performance to reduce energy usage. So what I do is I leave it off when it's plugged in and I leave it on when it's on batteries. And so it'll just stretch the battery life a little bit further. Of course, the M1 Max have beautiful battery life already. I mean, it's incredible the amount of battery life I get out of this machine, but it's always uh, good to get some more. So that's it. That's four things that I find absolutely useful in the new Mac OS. Thanks for watching.